So you got different ones. You probably can't see this, but this is a magnet. You probably can see a little bit better. And I'm just running this across my energy and running this across my grid. And what it is, is, is that you have a grid around you. You exist in a grid. And this grid needs to be cleansed periodically so that you can interface with the best energy. So you're wondering why you did a ritual and you're like, I got something back, but I didn't get back what I really wanted. It was only a portion of it. It's because you didn't cleanse your energy. You didn't resonate with the best energy. You need to learn how to build a grid around your body and begin to start landing this grid. But one of the key essential stones that you're gonna need is this. Got this from somebody in my soul group. She went on a deep mission to be able to get this. It pretty much, <clears throat> I mean, it's not like it's, it's special. I mean, as far as the type of crystal it is, I mean, anybody can get a magnet. It's not that. It's the fact that this magnet has been programmed with yin-based energy it's a real good yin-based energy and it's designed to attract and it's designed to cleanse everything around you it's designed to help you to be able to form a relationship with your ancestors through speaking through this grid it's designed to help you to fine-tune and to understand that you are a device or a computer connected to a grid and essentially what this grid is is a series of numbers or patterns or portals that different beings learn how to travel in and out of so essentially your physical persona is a manifestation now listen to what i'm saying you are a light body or a manifestation of your higher self of higher beings that you don't understand and you were put here as a manifester to manifest things as a medium so you are in the middle see us as humans we are in the middle of some deep consciousness and this is why when you start to wake up you start to notice negative energy it seems like it's following you like where is this coming from what did i do i didn't do anything wrong and it seems like every time you do something positive to move forward this negative energy punches you harder it punches you it keeps punching you because of the fact that you live in a grid and every time you try to do right it's fixed the pattern the ripple effect creates and this negative energy knows that if you continue to do that i can't exist see the negative energy can't exist see this is why you need different stones you know what i'm saying because these are these stones are essentially the only elements that you're going to be able to work with they're called elementals essentially is what they are and these stones are going to turn out to be the only tools that you have to update this grid that we live in we live in a crystal we live in a grid and we need crystals to update it you wonder why you're hurt you're going through situations and you can't understand why you're hurt it's because you need quartz See, you need rose quartz and you need to be able to use this rose quartz in a scenario to where you begin to reprogram your heart that's right your heart is a part of the program too you can reprogram your heart and once you reprogram your heart you are a dangerous tool at that point because at that point when your heart is reprogrammed you are now tapping into a part of the grid that most people have limited access to See, there's a love part of this grid. There's a part of this grid that's called, that taps you into what's called love. And when you tap into this part of the grid, it is similar to miracles. It creates scenarios that the archons and the dark workers couldn't calculate. See, they're like computers. They only calculate based upon intellect. And when love is introduced into this situation and equation, it leaves people in a scenario to where, or leaves the archons in a scenario, excuse me, to where, they can't predict you. You see, they can't track you anymore. You see, cause you've now start to mix in this yin energy and this yang energy and you getting into a point to where you've now balanced yourself. 
you're a balanced being. You are in tune with my eye. So they can't see you. See, they have to read you first. See, that's what you always got to remember. You know what's going on with you, but they don't know. The only way they're going to know is through you. And your job is to begin to be a ninja, to cloak what's going on with you. Never let anybody know what's going on with you. Maybe they'll know, but never let them know what's going on with you to a scenario to where you're showing it. You always stay ahead of the game. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're showing, you use that. You, 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 you pretty much show what you've already mastered. That's, what, that's the word I was looking for. You show and demonstrate what you've already mastered. Then you show it. Meaning that I've already done this. I've already perfected it. So I'm showing you it. So even when I make a mistake, I can go back and critique it because I've already perfected it. See, that's your job as a ninja. See, they want you to fall. But as long as you got this grid around you and these crystals around you and you work with this cipher, you are going to code yourself. And pro it's like coding. And you're going to link yourself into various different beings in your soul group. And every time they try to do something to you, when I say they, these trackers. See, people don't know if you truly conscious, you got motherfuckers after you. Yeah, they're watching you. They're looking at you. They're tracking you. They're gang stalking you. If you're not going through those scenarios, then you still have yet to graduate to that. And that's fine. Because, you, you know, you haven't, your energy is not allowing that to happen right now, which means that you have more to learn. You're not ready to be attacked by the Matrix. But if you're being attacked by the Matrix, it's because you're doing something right. So the only goal and the only thing from there is to continue to do it. Continue to keep moving. Never stop. Never settle. It's just like I'm going to do a, a report soon. But just like I was saying, I was in the negatives and down and outs. People don't know that those latest ones that drop. That's, you talking about costly? costly just kept going and kept going and kept going was able to turn last night that's right was able to turn got some name credit back you feel me don't got to do as much because you got that name credit going and now i'm starting to get into now what's called residual income and i'm gonna show you guys how to calculate it and all of that so you got views monetization and all that but then you got what's called residual income it's very hard to track on the internet because it moves quantumly. And this is when money turns. So every so many days, money turns. It becomes more. So if I put in $20, after so many days, it's going to turn. So we're going to go back into finances and things of that nature. But you need them stones, man. I had a few more. And if they get away from you, you lose them. Remember, you can't lose them. It's just that they, they were ready to move on. These things are alive. They're elementals. They give you supreme information, stuff that you would not have learned had you not had that stone or that crystal. So don't take it for granted.